Now the problem with Jay Money's situation, the mistake he made. Remember, Jay Money wasn't by himself, but Jay Money got it the worst. That's why Duck said in the song, Jay Money got it the worst. That's how it's supposed to be. Because it was more than one person that got hit on that occasion. That's why Duck said that. But first of all, Jay Money was a real goon. Luby knew he was a threat and he already had problems with him. Just like with Ocho and Big Mike, Big Mike was a threat. Lou B got him first. That's how you know this guy is smart. Because other people, you know, like these guys that everybody be looking up to, they would have got Ocho first. They would have got, you know, somebody else that was with J Money first. That means they're not smart. Lou B went after the danger, the threat. I told you before, these other guys, they avoid the danger. They pick and choose who to go after. That's why you can't compare them to him. He's smarter than the other guys, for one. And he's way more brave than the other guys. But anyway, J Money made that mistake when he allowed Lou B to walk away. Because remember, this guy, Tay 600, said they got into it. That he was tweaking with him. And J Money told him, get the F on. So Lou B got the F on. He left. And then he came back. A person like Lou B, you can't let them leave and come back. If you're going to fight them, you have to fight right then and there. And then, you know, you both leave, go get strapped up. If you want to have a shootout, whatever. You understand? You can't make a demon walk away. Because you know he's coming back. And he's going to come back with a weapon. You see, people like J Money, Vaughn, these other guys, they wasn't no demons. They was fighters. But they will pull the trigger. They will use a weapon, but that wasn't really their first choice. Vaughn had like 20 fights. J Money had like 20 fights. They was fighters. They were savages. They was goons, but they wasn't no demon. Demons just want to kill people. They don't want to fight you. Like Melly, Mad Max, Lou B. Those are demons. Their first option isn't to fight you. They want to get rid of you. Because they are possessed. Yes, they are possessed in the spirit. They have an evil spirit that have a lust or a desire to do that to people. That's the difference. You know, Jay Money, Vaughn, you know, guys like that, you see them take their shirts off, running around the hood trying to fight everybody. That's not a demon. That's just a, a gangster or a hood dude or a goon. But they will pull the trigger. Don't get it twisted, but they wasn't evil. Melly, Mad Max, Lou B, they was evil. But that's where Jay Money messed up at, though. You can't let somebody like that walk off. Either you got to handle it right then and there, or you leave. You don't stay there for him to come back. You already know what he's going to do. Okay, remember, they said Jay Money's always high and drunk, so he probably been on pills. He couldn't have been in his right mind. He stood there till Lou B got back. He couldn't have been. This is a guy who shot eight people with no block. There's no way you're going to give him a pass and let him walk away like that. And one of them guys that was with Jay Money, Prince Dre, and them, why you didn't tell this guy to get up out of there? Jay Money would have a shootout. Jay Money's a gangster. He should have went and got his strapped. Or just leave it alone and you see him the next time you see him. That's what he should have done. He should have never stood there. And what I mean by when I said Lou B, he goes after the threat, you know, the danger. Because from Ocho or Big Mike, Big Mike is the biggest one. That's why Lou B clapped him first. Other people, they would have just got Ocho because he was standing more close to Lou B. But you see, he thought about that. He got the danger, the biggest person first. Because if anything... Big Mike could grab him and take the weapon from him because he's much bigger and stronger. So that's how you know this guy was smart. These other guys, they would have just got whoever was closer to them. And with the J Money situation, Lou B went after him because out of the people that was there, he was the wildest one. J Money was the most gangster one out of him and the other people that was with him. J Money had three points before he passed away. He was a stepper. And that's the one who was going back and forth with him. Lou B looked at it like disrespect. Like, you know, I'm from here or I'm riding, you know, with STL EBT. For you to even be on my block or this side, you disrespecting me. Because in his mind, he's going to off everybody he see. So just by J Money and them being on 63rd, he took that as a disrespect. That's why Lou B pulled up. And I think he did know the girl that was with J Money. Probably she texted him or called him and told him, J Money is here. And Lou B pulled up, you know, to see if it was true, if he was really there. You know, because he probably be like, what? Like, you know I'm out here. You got the nerve to be on my block. Like, you don't see what I'm doing to your people. So you took that as a disrespect. And then they went back and forth and he left and came back and you know what? See, but Jay Money's an outstanding member too. They both outstanding. Because at that time, Jay Money was the biggest gangster on Old Block before he passed away. He was the biggest gangster on Old Block. People were scared of him more than Vaughn, T-Roy, Trey Five, all of them. He was the biggest gangster on Old Block. So J Money is looking at it like, you a G, but I'm a G too. I'm not scared of you. So that's why J Money spoke up to him. He spoke his mind and told him, get the F on, man. Get out of here, man, with that. But J Money should have left too. 
That's what I'm saying. Why these other guys didn't tell him, yo, come on, let's go. You know he's going to get the strap. Especially if they don't got nothing on them and they know he's a demon, they should have left.